Hello viewers, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with the topic of funding sources in Primavera P6. Basically, this option is located in enterprise and funding sources. So today we will discuss about what are the funding sources, what are they for, how do you use them, why would we use them. These all and how we can create the funding sources, how we can print the funding sources from the Primavera P6. Basically, Primavera P6 is a complete tool to monitor the project and add everything, documents, anything you can upload there. If you have too many funding sources, then you can add it in Primavera P6. So, if your project are funding sources to support budgets set up your enterprise projects funding source data and assign specific funding source to budget item as you develop projects when estimates are firmly established managers and team leaders can be set budget amounts and spending plans at the wbs or project level for which they are responsible resources and budget can be allocated at the activity level you can define funding sources on the funding source page along with the other enterprise project data you can then assign the funding sources to projects on eps page be aware that the funding funds are not total by eps levels you edit them as per the project or eps level to allow for the manual top down estimates and individual planning so what are the funding sources in other way put simply they are the sources for which they schedule or project will receive income to deliver the works typically a project is delivered for a customer so they would be the primary funding source as they finance the work funding sources can be internal or external it is possible for a project to have multiple funding sources for the one or more as i am now i give some examples suppose government is the one stakeholder or funding source and then one are the multiple customers suppose you have too many stakeholders there is a joint venture or partnerships then two or three source they are building uh, they are constructing a building they are constructing some hotels and there are too many shareholders this is also uh, funding sources charity investors joint ventures or cooperatives and then research and developments there are too many joint ventures and too many stakeholders you can involve so what are they for use funding sources in primavera in order to tag the income source for your eps and our project budgets they provide an indicator of how each eps or project is being funded when the assigning them you can set a fund amount and fund share this gives you and other users the ability to see how each eps and project is being funded and to what share and value funding source information is also available with the primavera client reporting model and oracle bi publisher for when you want to include the funding information within the reports so how we can use that one first you need to create them then i will show you how we will create them funding sources count as enterprise data so you will need to correct global profile in order to do this if you can create funding sources then check with the primavera p6 so now we will create and then assign the funding sources to our project and then we will print it so why would we use them so potential to kill off a spreadsheet in excel that is already doing this a clear picture how each node is financed reporting opportunity using report build and these all options we will use that one 
so let's move forward and see how we can create and assign and print our create a separate sheet for different funding sources open your primavera p6 schedule open the project or here i have already opened the primavera p6 you can see here the primavera p6 21 version so go to the enterprise in the enterprise here you can see we already complete the above all and now the funding sources click on the funding sources there are some examples over there in the funding sources so this window will open here maximize that uh, window so these are already globally funding sources suppose a uh, one business units are funding the other business units this is external funding venture capital private investments you can say the government you can add a new one as well here we will add one and just for example that you people know how we can add add click the add button here here is new fund source suppose say planning p6 okay then add the sub funding sources there are too many move to the right under this planning p6 project there are two funding source one zero one just suppose that add one more funding source zero two if you have the units name some things you can add funding source zero three these are that and here in planning p6 you can have option to write the description how we can get fund how many shares you can go to the modify here and add something you can copy and paste a b c you can add here your details and you can format as i describe in too many my tutorials that how we can format that one you can format from here change the colors and etc okay then also for these ones you can have option to add the descriptions if there are funding sources descriptions are there you can add one by one here okay then also the same you can print this description for the specific funding source description you have option to print as a pdf or directly to the printer this is how you can print and also you can copy just clicking by here you can copy these words all entire description which you write here so now the funding sources has been added and uh, here you can see you can also have tried to manage colors or formatting of these funding sources okay suppose we are going here this one and these writings you can change for the entire this funding sources table and row heights you can manage by easily visualization suppose bookman old style okay bold italic and i want 12 okay and row height i want 25 apply now you can see here the funding sources are here and color has been changed font and color has been changed and uh, now again we will go here and uh, change this wording color I think we make it white then it will be a more clear picture okay apply and okay now you can see here funding sources and also you have option to see the chart view chart view is there planning p6 funding sources are there and also you have to uh, change chart templates you can check it and change it how you want you can change it from here funding source chart from here and you can manage in our too many tutorials i already described 
and if you want to again table view you can see the table views you can cut delete or paste some if you want to delete someone you can delete or merge yes delete the deleted and you can also cut and copy paste from here so creation is completed now now we will close this one how we can assign the funding source here to our project one or more funding sources to our project so go to projects after the projects click on the project here villa project and simply go if there are these options are not there you can go and customize here are the funding sources option uh, funding already is there this one is let's so I close it and go to the directly funding and from here add the funding source suppose these are our funding for sources select one by one or select these all and assign directly to them so this one is suppose you can say uh, $200 from this and $1,000 uh, $1, from this funding source and $500, $5,000 from this source and then share, fund share 30%, 20% and 50%. Suppose that you can manage this one this now assign the funding sources you can assign too many funding sources as here and also you have the option if you want to delete some funding source if i assign this one by double clicking and you can delete is easily it is deleted now now how we can see the project funding total funding go and columns and customize here if we say the funding total funding insert that column here and apply ok here you can see this for this project is total funding is that one is how much to this is total funding and you can manage by EPS level the total fundings here this one is total funding if you open this project then it will be if there is funding then it will be show because the total funding is change that's why if you open this project the funding will show for this project okay now how we can create the separate sheets and a separate print go to the tool and go to the reports or report wizard report wizard if you go to the report wizard new report next here simply go at downside scroll out scroll out funding sources are here next after the selecting here you can also manage by this one next columns you can also create the columns and like that journal if you want this one description you can move above side apply okay group and sort filters you can do funding source next and here run report if you want to directly to printer it will be go directly printer if you want an excel file separate sheet you can do like that and notes if you have any notes you can do like that and html file email attachment you can we just see, see the print preview here you can see now the print preview this is a funding source for the funding approval internal capital this one this one these are all the funding sources for the projects where we assign or where funding 01 these assigned are for this project if you go from the activity tab and print that one suppose here from here close it yes this is for the entire projects and activities you can have also option to create a separate sheet and delete the other funding sources which you don't require so here funding sources next same method next columns general double click on it okay apply okay next next run report and print preview okay now you can see here these funding sources are here what is the count and which columns you required you can assign by this one planning p6 funding sources are here where you have assigned this one f1 suppose that 
f1 planning amount how much funding source funding source f2 count is one description is there and then f3 is there this is how we can create the funding sources how we can manage the funding sources and how we can see the how much stakeholder is how many shares in the project hopefully uh, this tutorial is helpful for you peoples and as i said that we can manage everything by primavera p6 which is happening in your project please like share and comment on our tutorials and hit a like on it thanks for watching allah hafiz